What is up? What is going on, people? David, SBA baseball card collectors. Busy, busy day yesterday. A lot of baseball cards, but first off, I'm running a promotion. Head over to svacardcollectors.com. Sign up. I want that email. Sign up, and you'll get the latest, my latest articles, eBay picks, just a bunch of different stuff. And if you sign up in the month of July, you will be entered to win not one, but two. That's right, two 2018 Tops Update Chrome Mega Boxes, where you can get an Acuna Jr. autograph, or Otani autograph, or just base cards, which is probably what you're gonna get. If you get anything good, do not tell me. I don't wanna know, because I was gonna open them up, but instead I'm giving them away. <laughs> now open up, tell me be happy if you got something good um, but yeah for the month of July if I already have your email you have already been entered so don't worry about that busy busy day why do I say that because I got my PSA cards back from February I tried February I got mine from March from April from May or well, not May not May but January March, April, I got those cards back, and now I got my February cards back. Just to give you an indication of how long it takes, it was the middle of February where I gave my cards, and I got them all back. About like 40 cards that I got graded. Um, did really well, did a video on that. You guys will see that later today. Um, hopefully I can get that done. Also, also, my Gary Sanchez autograph came in, the rookie auto looks really good thought the centering might be a little but then i pulled it back it, i think it's money i think it's a psa 10. i don't know if i will get that pristine 10. um that's something that you can't just be like well i'm gonna get that i'm gonna you know put that in i'm gonna get that bam yeah no, that's not gonna work so i may just go psa because i really think it has a good shot of getting a 10. Um, maybe a slight surface issue, but I think it's just fuzzies because that's from when I saw it because I blew I blew on the card and most of it went away. It came in a one touch, so I haven't touched it yet. I'm scared to. Um, so that will be sent off probably to be cleaned and then graded. What else came? Thanks to Throwback Cards on Instagram. He... Uh, was not expecting it. Gave me a nice Tino Martinez 1990s score. I like colors. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple person. As a kid, I like score because I had nice bright colors and I like shiny and bright things. So, nice card. And I also got a 1978 Topps Willie Randolph, which I really do like. Um, even though he was a coach for the Mets, it's a really nice card. I always like them older cards. Um, really nice. I think he played, I think, did he start off with the Padres and then he went over there? I'm not sure. I might be thinking of Ozzy Smith. I know he did that. I know Dave Winfield did that. I don't know about Loder than Randolph. I don't know. I do knew. I don't remember. Was he always, was he always a Yankee? I think so. I don't know. Whatever. So, we got that. Then, also came in yesterday was my top stadium club boxes. And I'll tell you, these cards look gorgeous. Gem Mint 10. No, they just look really, really nice. I got two box toppers that look awesome. I don't know what to do with them, though. I don't know how to display them. I don't know how. Do they make card holders for that? I don't know. I don't know. I have to invest investigate. And once I do, I'll let you guys know. But they just look absolutely stunning. They did. And the base cards look way better than the insert cards. Not even a question. If there was one question, that would not be it. So, got those. I did a video on that. I also have an article coming out about Top Stadium Club. Um, and I did it before I actually got the box. So maybe I might have to revise it just to give my take and go, wow, this looks XYZ. But I think I already did say that it, they looked amazing just by the video, you know, from watching YouTube videos and things like that. These things looked amazing. I suggest you definitely buy one. I, I'm 
I'm going to collect the set. I'm going to keep the set. Just different type of pictures. They're just really sharp, just really bright. They just look great. And even the old, you know, like a Babe Ruth, Roberto Clemente, these cards just look awesome. So, yeah, there's that. So, I've already done this a couple of times. My stupid phone keeps on stopping from recording. So now I'm actually redoing the same things. Sometimes redoing the same bits. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know what's up with my phone lately. I keep on deleting everything. And yet it still says I don't have enough room. So that is not cool. And I have plenty of space on here. So I don't know what's going on. I have to like restart my phone every single time to do a voice recording. Now, uh, so now I got to remember what I talked about because I was, I was spitting fire. There was fire coming out everywhere. And now, gone. Um, this will be the last live show of the week because I will be going on vacation. Hopefully I'm able to do two more, vid uh, two more videos, two more recordings. So you have something for tomorrow and for Friday. 4th of July, I wouldn't have done anyway, A, because I'm not going to be at work, and B, nobody's going to listen. Everyone's going to be doing things, barbecuing, doing whatnot. So um, I was not planning on doing it. Um, just super stoked about everything that I got. I really want to buy a couple more boxes of the stadium club um, so I can complete the set. But what I want to do is sell the cards that I do not want. Because there's a bunch of inserts. I don't know about the box topper because there's one I really like that I don't think I'm going to get rid of. But I don't want to give it up. I don't. Because I got the video coming. So you can take a look at it there. Um, I'm probably going to release that Friday and Saturday. Um, some of the inserts look cool. But to be honest with you. I thought the base set looks way, way, way better. I would just, they just look great. Now, I don't know what's coming up. I should have looked at this before. And you know what I can do? I can look at my article. This actually worked out. Yeah, there's nothing special. July 3rd is the Topps Factory set. So you guys can buy the factory set. Whoop -de -dee! And get one different Vladimir Guerrero card. I'm sure they got some other crap in there. Um, I know a lot of people like to buy this for their kids. I hear that a lot of times. And I was thinking about that. But to be honest with you, I would rather give them a Bauman Chrome set. You know, a, a prospect set for every year. Because that's the cards that are going to be worth the most money. Not tops. Not really. But, um, but yeah, so you have that on the third and then the next one is tops diamond icons on July 10th. And to be honest with you, who the hell is buying that? Are we, is anyone buying that? I'm not, you might buy a line, you know, like, a, with like a breaker and you get seven, eight, nine, ten cards. So then you would have to pay $165 for one card. That sounds fun. And then July 12th, you have uh, Leaf Trinity where you get six autographs. The box is around 200 bucks. They look really nice, but they still look funny without their logos. That's just never gonna change, but they do look nice. Resale value, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I, I know what they are, I've seen them before, but any research with regards to resale value, I really don't know, I have no clue. Um, so it tends to slow down uh, in July and August from from what I gather, you know, maybe you'll have like one or two big ones. I think Ginter is coming out. Or was it? I get Gypsy Queen and Ginter. I think Gypsy Queen came out already. So I think it's, it's Alan and Ginter is coming out. And I really don't care for them. I like some of their autographs. Some of the cards do look really nice. But for the most part, I'm just eh on the rest of them. They all, you know, all the years look very similar to me. So there's nothing that's like very drastic that I go, oh wow, look at this. Um, the 
yeah guys one thing i will say fourth of july i would take a look at ebay deals if you have time if you're sitting on the potty take a look at some ebay auctions because fourth of july everyone's going to be out partying why do that buy stuff on ebay ebay bucks will be you can be able to use them on july 3rd so whatever ebay bucks you've accumulated you'll be able to start using that money then and uh all right guys i'm at my job sva baseball card collectors is the facebook group svacardcollectors.com to enter um and possibly win two 2018 tops update chrome mega boxes sva bb collectors on twitter and on instagram flick chat as well guys you know what to do buy some cards and go broke later